Hey guys, this is Larry with Backmaster Dog Training, and here we have Buster. Buster is a six month old bull mastiff, and he's actually my buddy's dog, and we're gonna start conditioning him to the e collar today. Reason being, Buster's a real, really good dog. He doesn't have any issues or nothing, but he's turning into a big, scary looking dog, and he's very social. So when he sees neighbors and people coming by, he wants to run after them and say hello. But you can imagine if you're scared of dogs and you don't know him, he could be a little intimidating looking at him. So we're gonna start today conditioning him to the e-collar like I always do. Um, I have the CB on so you guys will hear when I'm using it. And I'm gonna go fairly quick here for video purposes so we don't drag it along too long. So what I'm gonna do right now, I have some food on the side. I don't think Buster's eaten yet this afternoon. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna charge the mark, okay? I'm gonna teach him what yes means. I'm gonna teach him that yes means something good is coming. I'm gonna do that just for like 30 seconds to a minute, just to give him an idea what's about to take place, okay? So it looks a little like this. Come here, Buster. Hey, Buster. Yes! Good boy. So it's yes and then feed. Buster. Yes! And you see, Buster's distracted by his dad. He wants to be with his dad, but that's okay. Yes, B. So right away, he's starting to learn that yes means something good is coming. Buster, yes. Good boy. Buster, yes. Good boy. Oh my God, he's slobbery. <laughs> he's so slobbery. <laughs> he's so slobbery. Buster, yes. Good. Now Buster hasn't had any training at all up until this point. Like I said, the, the sole purpose of doing this today is to have Buster off leash very fast. Kind of the same situation that we were in with Buddy, if you remember when I started conditioning our, our Golden Doodle to the e-collar. Same type of situation. Okay? Buster. Yes. Okay. Now normally I do this under no distractions. Okay, I do it on my own, very limited distractions, but he wants to be with dad and that's normal. So we have a little bit of a distraction, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna start and work our way through that right now. Okay, so we gave him an idea of what's coming with the food. So what I'm gonna do now is I got my mini educator. I got it paired to my CB, okay? I want you to focus on Buster, okay, Sophia? So for everyone that asks how you know what level he works on, I'm gonna start at number one and I'm gonna start tapping until he gives me some kind of signal, okay? So Sophia, focus on Buster, all right? Okay, there you go. He felt a little bit something. He thinks it's an itch, all right? So he's, uh, he felt it on a number six on the mini educator. So see, a big, powerful dog like this, you still don't need high levels. So again, there's a number six. That's where he barely felt it. Now notice I said barely felt it. That's where we want to start the work now, where he barely feels it. He just feels a little bit of a sensation. Okay, that's it. The lightest sensation. Now we're going to start. We're going to start using the e-collar paired with the food. Hey Mark, can you check on him? That's my boy in the van watching the movie, and he's banging to get out. So, like I said, all kinds of distractions today. This wasn't planned but I'm doing this to help my buddy out and help Buster out really, okay? All right, so you see Buster's nice and distracted now, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the command and then the tap after the command, all right? So it's gonna look like this. Buster, come. Yes, good boy. So hopefully you can hear that CB. Let me turn it up. So again, he's not paying attention. Buster, come. Yes, good boy, Buster. That's a good boy. Good job, let's get this all untangled here, pal. Now remember, he's not a Malamois, or a Shepherd, or even a Jack Russell. He's big old, big old Buster. So he moves at his own pace. So again, it looks like this. Buster, come. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. 
So we take our time here. Buster, come. Yes. Good boy. Good. Buster, come. Yes. Good job, Buster. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. And notice, as always, we use the 15-foot leash, okay? And you can tell this thing has been through through the ringer here, this leash. All right? So again, we're right here. Buster, come. Yes! Good boy, Buster. Good job. Buster, come. Yes! Good job. Buster, come. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Buster. Good job. Good. Hey, Mary. All right. So as you can see, the way he's moving, the tail's going. He doesn't move fast, but he's responding every time perfectly. Very, very nice. All right, ready, Buster? So there it is. We're going to work through that. Buster, come. <coughs> Yes. Good boy. Now if you notice, if you notice there, when he was scratching and I started, I didn't I didn't keep going fast. Boom, 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 boom. It was a steady pace. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, until he stops the itch and comes forward. That's what turns it off. Alright, so one more time like that. Alright? One more time. Buster come. Yes. Good boy, Buster. Good job. Alright. Now we'll give him a second. Give him a second. Okay, now, as you know, you've seen from the other videos, what we're gonna do here is this time we're gonna hold the stem down. So the stem's gonna come first, then the command, and then Buster's gonna get to turn it off on his own. So it looks like this. Come here, Buster. Man, he's already so strong. <laughs> All right, so it looks like this, ready? Buster, come. Yes, good boy. And that sounds bad because I have the CB real loud, but there's a guy mowing across the street. I don't know how well you could hear. So the CB's turned up real loud. So hopefully you hear it. All right, so again, it's like this. Take your time, take your time. He's not paying attention. Hold it down. Buster, come. Yes, good boy. Good boy, Buster. Good boy. That's a good boy, Buster. Beautiful. Buster, come. Yes. Good boy. Good job, Buster. If you notice, I haven't really had to use any leash pressure with him, too. He's doing very, very nice. But he's not going to last long, either. Buster, come. Yes. Good boy. Now, keep in mind what kind of dog he is. Okay? He's kind of like me of the dog world. He's not going to not going to go and give you a bunch of speed for a real long time. So five minutes at a time with Buster. You know, a young bull mastiff puppy. Actually, I do that with most dogs, but especially a dog of this caliber, this size, what he's built for, you keep it really, really short. All right, so I'm going to give it to him one more time here, and then we're going to completely cut it off for a while and let him rest for a good 15, 20 minutes before we do anything else. All right, so again, it'll look like this. simple right there we don't do it too long as you can see it's still 97 degrees out here even though we're in the shade look at me I'm sweating he's sweating we're both slobbering but he did real good he did real good so that's the first five or ten minutes how we start they all start the same just about okay so we'll let him get a drink now and rest and he'll lay down and probably sleep real good already so I hope this helps see you soon <laughs> 